Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash, which Yahweh is the name of the Most High, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel. And the name of his son is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS for having taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, laboring in the vine in these last days. And also unto those who are sincerely seeking this truth, Shalom. It's the brother Yaraya Yasha'ala from the GMS Italia camp. And the spirit is on me to do this lesson in English. So what you can see on the screen is actually a piece of the camp we had yesterday, Sunday. So it's it was actually a reunion for for we Akiams of the GMS Italia camp, you know. He saw as you know as you know taking away, you know, um certain restrictions, you know, that we that we used to have before in which we can't travel from city to city. So we just took the opportunity, we all, you know, we met in the city of Verona which is the so-called city of um, Romeo and Juliet, um, which is the city of one of the Colosseums where we, we once were to teach and we had the military coming after us. And so we were here actually, we recorded the whole lesson we taught. The spirit was really heavy upon us. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai was with us. But our recording, we recorded without, you know, audio all through the video. So we're not going to post the video. But well, you know, we know that, you know, Esau actually, you know, he, he, he is in this burden a little bit for his next move, you know. Because Easy is really slick, man. He, he has some bigger plans, you know. So he isn't the burden now. So people can, you know, just freak out and go out and do stuff. And so he can come back and tell your man, you know, we need to take more strict pre pre precautions because the thing is spreading. And, you know, I don't want to say that thing, you know. So Esau has really huge plans. And by the spirits, we know that we are closer every minute, every second, every day, every month. We are always closer to the return of our Hamashiach, of our Savior, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. So I was having a conversation with one of my Ark, which is... Um, GMS Finland, the brother down there in Finland, you know, the brother has really a very beautiful spirit, you know, so once in a while we just edify ourselves, you know, because, you know, I got in, I got into this group, you know, from, by the, by the GMS Holland, you know, I hack there in GMS Holland, uh, very, very how should i put it a very a very a very much respected arc um who's who goes by the name of tazaba you know he added he added us with the akiams of italy he added us to this group charts you know which you know we have all the gms in europe present in that chat and it's really beautiful because you know this chat really keeps us going you know we exalt each other with the words, you know, just like the book of, um, 
the book of Malachi is a 4 16 you know speaks about you know the saints you know speaking about the most high and Yahweh heard what they were saying and he pleased them and you know their names were found written in the book you know I'm just paraphrasing you know so anyway to cut the long story short so I had this um conversation with this you know brother from Finland you know so you know he said something you know I was at the plantation you know just listening to his message you know and that thing was really powerful that you know he caught me you know so when I got back from plantation you know we had a phone call and we spoke you know so we just exalted each other and you know I told him that hey listen this stuff you said you know it really shook me you know it's really powerful you know it just caught my attention actually you know so you know we went deeper you know we just spoke about this so I decided to do a lesson about it because you know and I really don't know what to entitle this lesson it's really going to be about being focused you know because this is the brother the brother told me something and what he said was you know we need to be focused now you know and stop being carried away by you know different thoughts different you know different things that are going on you know we really need to be focused because the days that are coming are really you know going to be very very hard days just like the book of um daniel chapter 12 is a verse 3 says you know and then that thing was really powerful man because we can't we can't afford we can't afford to, to consume our, our our mind you know thinking of all these worldly things about the flesh man so let me just get a quick scripture now i have loads of scriptures on this but you know we're going to take the few ones we can take by the spirit of the most high yahaba shemi i might do a part two on this video because i don't want to keep it really too long um so this is the book of uh, matthew chapter 6 i'm going to start from verse 24 which says no man can serve two masters for either he will hate the one and love the other or else he will hold to the one and despise the other ye cannot serve god and mammon you know therefore i say unto you take no thoughts for your life what ye shall eat or what ye shall drink nor yet for your body what ye shall put on is not the life more than the meat and the body than the raiment then he goes on to say behold the fowls of the air for they sow not neither do they reap nor gather into bands yet your heavenly father yahweh feedeth them are ye not much better than they man we really need to focus our mind on what's about to come man what's about to come is heavy the time of jacob's trouble there have actually been no time like that you know we can get that from the book of daniel chapter 12. oh yeah it's just the first verse you know and at that time shall mikaala which is you know called ignorantly by michael stand up the great prince which standed which standeth for the children of thy people yesha allah and they shall be and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to the to that same time you know and at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book so now if you now go back into history you know lots of horrible things have happened already you know starting from you know the the first diluvian the flood which the most high Yahweh destroyed the world by a flood you know and he saved the family of noah okay then you know you have different occurrences you know different bloody wars like the first world war the second world war you know then you have all different things that have gone on you know 
lots of wicked things have gone on in this in this in our entire existence you know now try to imagine that none of those things can stand beside that which is about to come that is heavy that is heavy and that which is about to come really you know you really it's not by your flesh by your strength by how much money you have or whatever that can save you you know you really need a high level of being focused the spirit you know and in order for you to be saved your name must be found written in the book and what's that book in these scriptures you know the book of life you know this book is written to the sons of israel and we know according to the book of zechariah is it four that two thirds are going to be destroyed and two thirds are actually actually going to receive this word you know one third are those who this book is written for you know so we really have to work on our spirits and drop down the flesh just like the scripture we read earlier in the book of matthew you know let the eyes be single you can't serve the most high yahweh and mammon what's mammon mammon means money you know let's get it real quick the matthew 6 okay 24 let's check out the word mammon you know the root word is um mammonas mammonas in the greek okay and you see say mammon treasure riches you know which is personified and opposed to the most high yahweh okay and that's exactly what the world is going after you know people are worried of you know how to become a billionaire how to become celebrities you know people are even worried of what they might eat tomorrow how they're going to pay their bills how they're going to pay their rent and all these things you know that's not meant to be our focus you know we go by the day because Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai is never going to leave us hungry, you know. He's always going to provide that little job, you know, to get you going, to get you feeding, you know. But then, this shouldn't be our major hope. Because some people, you know, most of Jake's really, they're going to, you know, take that waters, you know. They're going to take in that waters into their system just because they don't want to lose their jobs just because they don't want to lose their jobs they believe these jobs are life you know when you have a job you're being paid those token then you that's life that's hope you know our hope is to be on Yahweh shy well i believe i'm going to do a second uh, a part two to this video you know but before i go i'll just like to share something i just put down you know and i sent it to the charts you know after speaking to this brother from finland you know so it goes it's not the right time to cater to your worldly problems as they seem never ending okay because this world is filled with different problems that's how the most high yahweh Hashem yahweh shai has made it and why because the wicked is in rule then the scripture tell us that when the wicked the wicked is in rule the people mourn it yes the people are mourning there are lots of problems you know heavy problems that's because the wicked are ruling and the worst time is yet to come like we always say the time of jacob's trouble jeremiah 37 if i'm not mistaken someone can correct me and that's what we just read in the book of um, Daniel 12.1. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming. This is where you should focus your mind on how Yahweh Shai would save you. On how you'll be protected. 
you know from this time this is what we should all be focusing on you know we don't need to focus on anything else you know as a matter of fact your enemy is so puts is all in well my english i might make some errors but just bear with me so let me read from the beginning it's not the right time to cater to your worldly problems as they seem never to end as a matter of fact your enemy so puts his all in to make you lose focus and that's true you know esau is the king of propaganda esau aka the white man the so-called white man is the king of all lies the father of all lies you know he does the bidding of his father who is the devil he occupies your mind with all different kinds of filth 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 he makes sure he, he gets you worried about one thing or the other so you don't have time to think about the things that truly your spirit needs you know Esau is the father of the flesh man he does everything to make you gratify your flesh on which the flesh is of no use man this flesh is a prison the book of Jude 1 6 so we really need to edify the spirit most you know but Esau is really not he's not taking any days off man 24 7 on this ship man you know making sure he gets jake off their course of their destiny now it's left for you to choose it's either you go after the world and what the world has for you to offer which is death or you follow the 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 the, the, the narrow path which is a little you know not really very interesting but when you get into the truth there is beauty in this truth man and this truth is going to get you everlasting life man so the last says stay focused be focused because the days ahead are no child's play the days ahead are no child's play now jake is getting all bogged out all freaked out you know happy yeah we, we have we have we don't have restrictions we, we're free with this with that you know being just being just brainwashed man a, a fucking zombie uh, excuse my french you know just being dumb zombies you know walking without thoughts without brain man you bring the truth in front of jake but jake cannot see it and it is it not the most I that did it like that according to the book of romans is it six i can't remember he has given them um heavy 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 ears i'm just paraphrasing someone can put the the, the verse you know he gives them heavy ears so they might not hear and he gives them you know blind eyes so they can't see and that's because the most i has seen their hearts already you know they are not focused they are not focused on that kingdom they are focused on different things man man up in the spirit and stay focused y'all need to man up in the spirit and stay focused you know a true man does not work for his flesh a true man works for his spirit exalts his spirit and that you can only find through doing the will of the Most High Yahweh and His Son Yahweh Shai, which are written in this book. It's the true laws and statutes and commandments, you know. Well, as I said, I have lots of precepts to give. I'm going to do a part two to this video. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai Ratazah. I'll do a part two to this video and come up with some more um, precepts. I hope this video was edifying. And I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rukah Kodash, 
double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone gms who have taught me this truth which is the 100 percent truth peace and salutations to the hopeful elects spread around the four corners of the earth and on to the next one shalom